Today we got South Park Pip. Full reaction is over on Patreon. Link to that is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. This isn't gonna have copyright, is it? Am I gonna have to edit the audio out of this? Hello, I'm a British person. For years now, the character Pip has been featured prominently in the American show South Park. However, many Americans don't realize where Pip came from. And so tonight, the makers of South Park have agreed to take a break from their regular show and instead present the prestigious Dickens tale in its entirety from beginning to end. Okay. Indeed, after watching this show, you'll know the timeless classic as if you'd read the cliff notes themselves. <laughs> Our story is set in England, in the small town of Draftshire upon Topsmart, where a young blonde haired boy named Pip was on his way to see his parents. Hello, Mum. Hello, Dad. It should be as nice to see you again. Don't worry. Oh. Sister's still taking very good care. <laughs> I didn't think they were dead, bro. I'm not laughing that they're dead. I'm laughing that I wasn't expecting. You feel me? His parents to be graveyards, not graveyards. Um, What are they called, bro? Headstones. There we go. Gravestones. I don't know, bro. Y'all know what the f I'm talking about. Sister is still taking very good care of me. She just loves to smack me in the face and tell me I'm worthless. Oh, we have such fun together. Oh, my God. Bro, she's not supposed to talk to you like that. That's abuse. Poor kid. So not only do the kids treat him like, right? Like the boys, his parents are dead. And the sister treats him like trash too. What are you doing here, you little whipper Oh, hello. Why are you what is this? Who is that? Did we break your out of prison? I'm an apprentice blacksmith. There you are. And here's a sandwich. You must be starving. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why are you so easy to help me? He's a good kid. We are all the same. Don't quite all smell the same, though, I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, where have you been? What? A lovely day, isn't it? What the hell's lovely about it? Nah, that's child abuse, bro. She just launched my man across the room with his scarf, bro. Choked his little ass. Dude, what are you getting? Job, you're old now. Oh, look here. Yo, he's eight. What do you mean get a job? What do y'all do for a living? Y'all figure this out, bro. He's a kid. Let him be a kid. Have a shim resident six young boy to play with lonely daughter. We'll pay up to twenty quid a day. That's a lot of money, money. You can keep. How much is that in dollars? Twenty quid a day. Wait, is that even a a, a real currency? Turn off in the comments. Well, the very next day, Pip went to old Miss Havisham's house to inquire about the job. And it was there that he met the girl of his dreams. This way, you pathetic squirt of vaginal discharge. <laughs> what the f You pathetic squirt of vaginal discharge? Where the f did she learn to say that? Up here, you gamey massive baby vomit. <laughs> oh my god. In you, miss. I'm not going in there, you stupid puddle of a homeless man's urine. Wow. Listen, bro, like, I understand you need the job. You feel me? Nothing wrong with that, bro. Nothing. We could all use money, you feel me? But why are you going to let her talk to you like that? She's talking to you like you're scum, like you ain't shit. Does it frighten you to look upon a woman who has not seen the sun in over 20 years? 20 years is crazy. I sometimes have sick fancies. And I have a fancy I should like to see someone play. So play. What? That's weird. Estella, play with this boy. With him? But he's just a commoner. But you can break his heart. All right, boy. Let us play. What does that even mean? But you can break his heart. What are you, a uh, evil feminist or some shit? Like, what the fuck is happening right now? We are going to play a little game called Smack the Blonde Boy in the Head with a Large Log. Oh, yes. My sister and I play that game at home all the time. <laughs> oh, you stupid, pathetic boy. She did not like that at all. My man was ready for it. You feel me like, oh, what? Get hit in the head with a log? This is a piece of cake, bro. I already do this at home. I think she's very pretty. Mm -hmm. What else? 
I think she's rather insulting. You quite fancy her, don't you? Come back again next week. We shall play some more. That's it? That oh, night. nah. Oh, nah. My man's got paid just for that? Not bad if you're into that, into that stuff, right? Being talked to like that. Day after day, Pip visited Estella. Sometimes they would play. Sometimes they would talk. But every single day, Pip's love for Estella grew. <laughs> what the f Don't you want to play anymore? Boy, do you still think I'm pretty? Oh, well, yes, miss. And Yo, my miss just lets her beat the shit out of him with that stick. You're an oozing painful hemorrhoid that belches pus. Oh, dear. You may kiss me if you like. What the f is this lady raising this little girl to be? That's some psycho sh bro. Well, what a spot poor Pip was in. He All right, was time out. This guy looks super duper familiar where is he from has he done other shows movies maybe i don't know sign off in the comments pip found himself more in love with a little girl each and every day yeah that's crazy but he also has mom issues so you bang on this side i bang on that side and there you have it your very own metal fuzzy dice yes i see <laughs> Look. Metal fuzzy yeah, dice? This, Pip? Joe, do you know anything about girls? Sure. They're those things with vaginas in them. <laughs> do you know anything <laughs> What the f is wrong with this dude? Like, he's not here fully. There's no way he is. Do you think that a girl who's rich and educated would ever want to be with a blacksmith? Oh. No, no, I don't think so, Pip. I don't think so, Pip. Pip, a young gentleman of great expectations. All right, so we're in London now. Okay. Mr. Pip, Mr. Pocket, pray come in. Is that the kid that was in the um water fountain over at um? Damn, at Estella's house? This is our sitting room, just chairs and tables and carpet and so forth. This is my little bedroom, rather musty. And this is your bedroom. My, how lovely. Oh, but a gay it's time kind of nice, bro. It's kind of nice, bro. Not as in penetration of the bum. Oh, but... What the f*** is happening? Hold on. Oh, but a gay time we shall have. And I do mean gay as in festive, not as in penetration of the bum. Oh, but dear me, I think you're part of the whole I like how you know, he had to, to break that down. You feel me? We're going to have a gay time. Not, not how you think. No penetration of the bum. Like we're gonna have a great time. That's funny. Now, onto Miss Havisham. She was raised by a wealthy father and grew up to be a somewhat of a spoiled brat. And soon a man came along, which gets me to the cruel part of the story. So this man pursued Miss Havisham closely and professed to be devoted to her. She passionately loved him back. The marriage day was fixed. The wedding dresses bought. The wedding guests all invited. And finally, the day came, but not the groom. Oh. So that's why she's an. That's why she's training i don't know is that her daughter granddaughter i don't remember but that's why she's training her to be the way that she is so she gets revenge on men for what she went through you feel me that's crazy bro misery needs company though you feel me and so pip spent the next several months learning how to be a gentleman he was schooled in several languages. He was taught fencing and marksmanship, and he was shown how to dance and how to eat box. How to eat box? What do you mean with that? Not why I paused, by the way. Um, I think I know where he's from. I think he might have been in um, the Halloween remakes. You feel me? I don't know which, which Halloween remake, but... He was in one of them, or all of them, or some of them. You feel me? But that's where I know him from. Proud of himself, Pip decided to pay Miss Havisham a visit. My, you're quite the gentleman now, aren't you? Thanks to you. Perhaps. Would you like to see a picture of her? Oh, my. She is even prettier than before. Oh, you love her, don't you, Pip? I don't know. I mean, I think about her every day. Do you know what? She's so evil. There's a dance at the palace tomorrow night. Estella will be there. Go and seek her out and love her. Love her. Thank you, Miss Havisham, for everything. I'm the happiest boy in the land. And if she wounds you, love her. If she tears your heart into pieces. And as you get older, it will tear deeper. Love her. Damn. Dark. Hello, Estella. Pip. My goodness, how you've changed. Yes, I've become a gentleman. 
May I? He looks like a... <laughs> Why my man is dressed like Willy Wonka, bro? What is happening right now? So how is it that you've learned to dress and dance? Well, I was sent to be schooled in London. I see. And you no longer live with the blacksmith? Oh, I see Joe once in a while, but I don't have much in common with him anymore. Now that I'm a gentleman and all. Naturally. So it young. Wonderful to see you and to have better. like social restrictions i want to say i don't know if that's the 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 best way to put it but like talking about oh yeah i can't hang out with them because i have manners now it's kind of up hey stella let's get out of here all right steve just one moment who the f is that who, who is that that is steve he is 17 and has a car 17 bro this dude is like 11 years older than stella what he's my boyfriend boyfriend What's the matter, Pip? I don't understand. What? God damn! What are you back at the house Ms. for? You have to talk to Estella. She's going out. To well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Pip. Oh, I know that. I know that hurt. He felt like his heart got ripped out of his chest, thrown on the ground, and stepped on. Like he went over there thinking he was gonna snitch on her and. Maybe mom was gonna work some magic or some to fix it. Oh, what's the matter? Did she break your heart? Oh, she's a fing. It's as if someone has a hold of my heart and is squeezing it very tightly. Yes, oh, and it is man. somewhat difficult to breathe. Hey, wait a second. You mean that this whole thing was just a setup by your mom? Is your heart broken as well? Tell me all about it. But why do you make your daughter hurt people? She's the definition of, why don't you go cry about it? I'm growing very old, but tonight I will fuse my soul into Estella's once and for all, and then I can go on breaking men's hearts for another generation. Nah, she's crazy. You're my girl, and I'm not letting you walk out on me. He's crazy too, but she's worse. <laughs> Robot monkeys, what the... She has all the men who've had their hearts broken by Estella trapped in her house. Oh, why would she have wasted all that time sending me to school and turning me into a gentleman? Well, about that, Pip, there's another person who wants to see you. Hello, Pip. You remember me? After you helped me, I moved to Wales and made something of myself. If it weren't for you, I'd have never become a millionaire. He's the one who sent you to London, Pip. He's oh! He's the one who sent you off to be a gentleman. I thought it was Estella's grandma or mom, whatever the she is. I thought it was her. You weren't a snob and you helped me like you would a rich man. Damn, oh, that's dear. real shit right well, there. Time, I've certainly learned a lot. That being a gentleman doesn't mean learning to dance or proper table manners. It means being a gentle man. Gentle to everyone. Righto, Pip. Righto. And now I suppose there's only one thing left to do. What's that, Pip? If Miss Havisham is determined to do this to others, let's go kick her ass. Hey, let's jump that. Are you ready, Estella? Are you ready to complete the cycle? Yes, mother. This is crazy. Not so fast, you ugly ancient. Hi, Pip. Your man hiding days are over, Havisham. Quite the contrary, Blacksmith. Oh my, my God, she got one, two, three, four, five. She got seven people hanging upside down. I'm your boyfriend. So am I. And me. We were all Estella's boyfriends at one time or another. Now we're doomed. What the? These are grown as men. Well, half of them, but still, or more than half of them. It's five grown as men and four kids. Once your tears have collected into the Genesis device, the fusion of Estella and me will be complete. You won't get away with it. That is insane, bro. So she does this to do like a body swap. You feel me? So she could be young. <laughs> Right, okay. It begins. Come, Estella. You can't want to be part of this. It is what I was raised for. Yo, she is so programmed. Think about panda bears. Oh, they're so cuddly and sweet, panda bears, huh? What silly little noses they have. Panda bears make me sad. They're almost extinct. Oh. <laughs> Try again, stupid. Yes. Get out of that chair, you old cow. <laughs> She spits acid. You are a wonderful girl with a kind heart. Look at this adorable little bunny. Oh my, he's very cute. You see that? A heartless person wouldn't care at all about this bunny. They just assume break its neck. <laughs> Damn. Nine baby bunnies. A person with a heart could never. Nine baby bunnies. 
so nine is crazy to just at this point you just gotta stop where are you getting so many damn bunnies from fuck too late. 26 baby bunnies i don't want to i don't see the point in this what? oh my god pipsy's too much um too much good in people even if it doesn't exist or at least in her you feel me you do have a heart you think so let me see it maybe i can no 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 Bad. So what happens to her now? You did it, Pip. Okay, I like that. Her poor, miserable life is finally over. You're released from her now, Estella. Now we can begin our life together. Yes, yes, my small testicle love. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad everything has worked out. This girl. Well, little bunnies that you borrow then, Pip. And they all live <gasps> happily ever. No, they were um. Damn, I forgot his name. But they were this kid's bunny, this little f in the orange hair. Except for Pocket, who died of hepatitis B. So Pocket, that was the name. I mean, died of hepatitis B. That's crazy. We hope you now have a deeper appreciation for Pip, and indeed all masterpieces of literature like this one. Until next time, I'm a British person. Good night. Nah, this was cool. I rocked with it. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what South Park episode is next. And I get to that ASAP. Listen, man, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.